Hey lovelies, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you and as you can see for today's video, we're gonna be getting into these beautiful green nails. So without further ado, get comfortable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into today's video. Starting off with my pointer finger, I'm going to be creating an ombre nail and I'm just making sure that I'm covering the entire tip of the nail with the color that I'm using and I'm making sure to constantly wipe my sides because I do want to maintain the shape of my nail. As I'm applying my acrylic, I'm being very mindful not to make these nails very thick because we are going to be encapsulating so I'm just trying to go in with a very thin layer of the green and then I'm going in with this pretty pink color. It's from Secret Nail Affair Bombshell Pink and I'm just placing my bead and I'm going to be blending it downward and the way I like to do my ombre nails is I like to blend it when i see that my bead is still more on the wet side i feel like that helps me get a really nice blend and also as i'm doing this application i'm keeping my nail positioned downward because i'm trying to make sure that i don't flood my cuticle and once i place the bead and my nail is in a downward position the bead will naturally flow down and level out on its own into my ring finger i'm going to be just applying a solid application but instead of it being solid pink or we're going to be adding some green glitter on top the glitter that i'm going to be using is from Staviland, by the way i'll try to make sure that i leave it in the description below because it's a really pretty acrylic and if you don't have it you should definitely give it a try and then for my pinky finger we're going to be doing just a solid pink nail because on top of that, we're going to be doing hand painted nail art. I'm going to be hand painting these flames, but instead of them being regular flames, they're going to be the flames with the hearts. So yeah. And of course, I'm going to make sure that I encapsulate all of my ombre nails. And then we're going to get into the nail art. <laughs> Oh, 
getting into the nail light portion of this video for these flames i'm just starting off with a letter i and i'm making sure that it's in the center and then from the dot that i created i'm going to be drawing some flames and as i get towards the end of the flame i'm going to make sure that i'm flicking out my brush now the thing that i would recommend when it comes to doing flames is use a brush that it's pretty much on the thin side because i was using a brush that was kind of thick and it just wasn't giving me the results that i wanted so i had to switch to a brush that was more on the thin side so once we create those little flames as you guys see here i'm just drawing some lines connecting down to the body of the flame and then i'm going to be creating a little mini triangle at the top of the flame and that's just going to serve as the top of our heart and then as you guys can see i'm just filling in the rest of the flame and there you go so once we have that we're just gonna perfect our flame fill in anything we want to fill in make sure that the lines are seamlessly connecting and blending into each other and then from there we're going to create flames on the side because that's what's really going to give it the flame effect and you guys are going to see that in a few so here's what our flame is looking like so moving on to the next flame just so i could go through all my time i'm just starting off with the letter i that's gonna be like a base for me just so i can know where to start and where to end with my flame but once we have those flames created up top i'm just drawing these lines connecting down to the body of the flame that's gonna be almost like an hourglass shaped figure and then i'm drawing this mini triangle and that's gonna be the top of my heart and then from there, I'm just connecting any lines and I'm making the heart come together. So once I have my heart the way I like it, I'm just going to make sure that I'm just connecting the lines and making sure that everything seamlessly is blending together. And of course, we can't forget those little flames on the side because that's really what's going to help the whole look come together. And before curing this nail, I'm going to pour glitter on top of it and then carry it all the way through for 60 seconds i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys learned something new thank you guys so much for watching follow me on my socials so we can interact with each other don't forget to like comment and subscribe because we are so close to 100 subscribers and i just want to say that my next nail video is going to be my birthday nails because my birthday is coming up you guys so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye